lot numbers off the and they should be on the bottom. Here. It's seven o'clock, so welcome. We're gonna learn about aromatherapy tonight, and to start with, I want everybody to come to their happy place. So, take one of these and pass it around so that everyone gets one. <laughs> this is a blend. And since we're talking about aromatherapy, this is a rollerball blend called Happy Place. And I will give you the recipe later. This is one recipe I don't have in my little recipe left okay. because I added it this afternoon. Oh, I need a Happy Place. <sighs> Just take a couple of deep breaths. Doesn't it smell good? It's got Lang Lang and orange and lavender. Now, part of learning about aromatherapy is also learning how to make your oils go further. Because this one little bottle that you have here only has eight drops of oil in it in this whole bottle. And the, I left it strong. We could have half an any, but I felt like at the end of the day, we needed a good dose of Happy Place. So but this is yours to take and to use and to distribute when you need it. But it's orange, lavender, and Lang Lang. And as people come in, we will bring them into our Happy Place tonight. I am... I teach people how to use Young Living Essential Oils. And one of the things that I try to remind is that there are three ways to use our oils. <coughs> I started looking through books, because I'm a reader, Aromatherapy for Animals, Aromatherapy, Essential Oils, Healing, and the Science of Advanced Aromatherapy. The word aromatherapy is used very generically in the oil world. And it goes synopsis with the use of oils. Well, tonight we're going to focus on only the true breathe in to get the oils in you aromatherapy. With Young Living Oils, we can use them topically, internal, or through aromatherapy. And so that is the avenue I'm going to go into tonight is on just how do we get the oils into our body through the nose and through the respiratory system. So, all of you have little bags for you, little kits that you're gonna get to take home with you. And I have done several little things of aromatherapy. First of all, I'm gonna I'll start on this side this time, Miss Jean. Did that smell good? Mm. <laughs> She's not gonna let go of it. <laughs> Everyone gets one of these. This is an orange and clove gel air freshener. Have y'all seen the glades that have, you pull the top off and it dissolves or evaporates as it's mm -hmm. open? That's what that is. And I made them, and you get the recipe for that, and you get the little lid to go on it. So, and that's a multi-purpose lid. It's just orange food coloring. <laughs> uh-huh. See, Christy's not going to let it go either. <laughs> See? And it's clove. That All that is is clove oil and orange oil. And it's about 10 drops of oil in the whole mixture now. And then I made like five or six of those little jars from it. <laughs> it's, it's gelatin. And you've got the recipe. You've got the recipe. Everyone, yes, ma'am? You said eight drops. In the each, whole bottle. In yes. Each yes. Oh, in the bottle. Okay. Yes. I didn't know if that was. One. And I'll put that. One, I'll I'll put that one on the website for you guys, or I can email it out to you. This. See, all of you get your little diffuser, your little cards tonight. So everyone that signed up gets to take home cards that have recipes and diffuser recipes, so that you can know how to put this drop and this drop and this drop in your diffuser and change the scents coming out of your diffuser without having to go by plug-ins and things like that. But yes, everyone gets a little jar of that. That is, you can just take the lid off. So you take this lid off, put your little cover lid on, and let it sit down in your house. 
and it will just gradually disappear. And I thought that was really neat because my mama has those things sitting all over her house. And they just evaporate away. You can see that, can't you? <laughs> okay. One of the things that I am, when we do, let me see if I can get this thing going. Aromatherapy is a caring, hands-on therapy which seeks to induce relaxation, to increase energy, to reduce the effects of stress, and to restore lost balance to mind, body, and soul. Now that's, we think of aromatherapy whenever you go do a, a massage, and you'll see the little hot rocks, and they have the little S, incense burning, or they'll have, and, and that's what the stereotype is of aromatherapy. I use aromatherapy with Young Living Essential Oils for a variety of things, including relaxation, but also for healing. With Young Living Essential Oils, we have the therapeutic brand, and when we use those oils, whether it be one of the three, it will reset the neurons in the cells and clean them. So if you've got buildup from toxins that have been in your body, the oils after use after a while of one of those three methods will actually clean the neurons, the receptors in the neurons, and reset them back so that they start, they start acting correctly. So it helps our body heal itself. And so with aromatherapy, yes, I love this, but I also love the fact that while I'm doing this with the oils and I'm smelling this and y'all see my hurt, you smelt my diffusers when you came in and I've been creating little things in the um, kitchen all day today so y'all had the smell of oils in the air when you came in. That is also very popular and I know it's healthy for me. I brought these two things in to show you. These were my friends three years ago. This candle is awesome. It is my Christmas candle I used to burn to a year. It makes your house smell like Christmas. You see, I hadn't burned it. This was in every room of my house. And it still got some fluid in it. These, when you burn the candles or you use the plug-ins, they emit the smell, but they also emit formaldehyde. So when you have this going in their air and you're breathing it in, guess what's going into my lungs? Formaldehyde. And I do not want to preserve, preserve myself while I'm still alive. I'll wait till they get through and embalm me to do that. <laughs> so I've taken these out of my house. So now the smells that you smell when you walk in my house are natural. They're not going to hurt you. They're going to help your cells rebuild themselves and re themselves. And this is going to be something that's a positive building thing, not a negative building thing. So this aromatherapy is like, no, we don't do that anymore. Now, aromatherapy, I said, is skilled and controlled use of essential oils for physical and emotional health and well-being. This is where I like to use it a lot, right here. The physical and the emotional health. Physical health. Y'all get to make you a little this thing. I love these things. How many of you remember growing up with Vicks inhalers? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're going to your own Vicks inhaler home tonight. I have created a blend, and this is orange oil lavender oil and clove those three it's like 20 drops of orange and 10 drops of clove what you do i'm gonna pass this around let you smell it, smell it and then y'all get to make your own what you do is i found these those of you who know me and know me well you know i'm an amazon queen <laughs> if it can be found on Amazon, that's where I buy it. And I found these really cute inhalers, but they don't have anything in them. They're empty. You're going to take your 
put a little scent smells good, doesn't it? Yeah, that's strong. <laughs> <laughs> you can also put RC in that. During the winter time, I use RC. That's a blend Young Living has that's for the respiratory system support and helps with your sinuses and it, I, it keeps me from coughing. You can put a couple drops of RC in there. This is an, what I call a year-round blend that will just help push a cap in it. And you have your own inhaler. Now, you can also change these and you can also change your oils. But y'all are going to get to take this. Come on in. I'm at a stopping point. Okay. Grab one. Okay. So here we go. Y'all get to make your own inhaler. Now, this inhaler is going to be aromatherapy that is going to support our physical health. It's going to help with the physical health of your body. So it's going to, it's orange, clove, and, and I have some more if we need them. <laughs> I have a deck of bag. Hey, how are you? Yes, we're going to make our own. On the little cotton ball, and then put the little cap in it. And see, I've got y'all doing all this while I keep talking, so you get to take stuff home while I'm teaching. As I said, aromatherapy is the healing of the body and emotional health. And we're talking about the nose and your inhaling. The inhalation of essential oils molecules is the most common method for mood and emotional support, respiratory con conditions, and cleansing and purifying of the air. In my diffuser, I have purification. That's a blend that Young Living sells, and that is my go-to oil for purifying the air, cleaning my carpet, you name it, that's it. I have two dogs that live in my house, one all the time, and I don't like it to smell like a dog lives in my house. So I use purification in my diffuser, especially when we've had rain like yesterday. We had the rain, it, it makes everything smell better. So essential oils can be inhaled from tissues or inhalers dropped on steaming water and added to vaporized, diffused, or spray. We have the diffuser. I have a lady. I'll have the copies on the website. You won't have to I'll copy all this. <laughs> I put all this on the website. Y'all, you can go to my website and the class will be up by probably by next week and I'll have all these on there. And you'll get the uh, recipes that I'm going to show you. And if you don't get them, I'll have those on the, on the website too. I try to make sure everything I say or show you gets put on the website. I have a lady that takes a wooden clothespin and pins it on the vent of her car. Becky does that. And drops the oil on that wooden pin. The wood is a porous, a porous <laughs> substance. And that porous substance absorbs that wood, and that oil, and then the air from the air conditioner blows it away. I tell people this all the time. One of the ladies I was talking to, her kid, she picked him up from school and they were yang, 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 yang at each other. And she didn't have a clothes pin. She didn't have a diffuser. She didn't have this. But she had peace and calm in her pocketbook. And I'm saying this, and I'm going to put it on tape. She pulled a tampon out of her pocketbook, <laughs> stuck it in the vent, and poured the oil on it. She said, in 10 minutes, my kids were acting like they had some sense. <laughs> so the moral of the story is use what you have, okay? <laughs> We don't need all this real fancy stuff. We can use what we have. Put your oils on it and go with it. Okay. The effects of inhalation. The inhalation of aromatherapy molecules affect us on a variety of levels, physical, emotional, and spiritual. When inhaled, aromatherapy molecules enter the nasal passages. We know how that is where they stimulate the olfactory receptor sites and trigger nerve messages to the lymphatic center of the brain. And that's where it does its good stuff. The lymphatic area of the brain, and this I get tickled at, it was developed 70 million years ago, and I want to know who was around to tell me it was developed 70 million years ago. But it actually is an older part of the brain than the neocortex. 
So this part of our brain was developed before any of the other parts of the brain were developed. And that has to be a hypothesis that the scientists are saying because, you know, we haven't collected data or we weren't around then. But the moral of this slide is we've been using our scent for a long time. It's a primary sensor when we start using the scents. And if you look back at how animals survived and think back to prehistoric time, look at what one of the primary senses are for animals. Scent. And that's where they're getting it from. Every animal that God made has a way, even if they're blind, they've got those senses and they can tell from the smell of things. So that's where this is coming from. They know, you know, I, I freak out Bella. And those of you who know my Bella, she's this little Jack Russell. I use oils and I don't think they're strong, but if they're not strong for me, they're really strong for her. She'll go hop on the other side of the bed sometimes because something that's very mild for me will be very strong for her. I have a little bottle that I use at my chicken house that's water and witch hazel because I told you put oils in water and witch hazel if you're going to spray them and clove and cinnamon. In that bottle I only use like five drops of clove and five drops of cinnamon. To my nose it's not a very strong scent but I spray it around my chicken house where my eggs are because clove and cinnamon will keep the snakes away. And snakes have a really strong sense of smell compared to me. So, you know, it's like, looking, so I don't need a lot and I just spray it every couple of days. I don't spray it every day. I'll go, I'll say, oh, we hadn't sprayed this in a while. <laughs> I'll spray it around then. Do I don't you know mix if, it with anything or you just? The, the bottle is one third witch hazel to two thirds water, whatever size your bottle is. Mm -hmm. And then I put, I have a strong I want it, so I didn't put with like five drops of clove and some five drops of cinnamon. And that can go in a plastic bottle. Yes, that can go in a plastic bottle because that's not a um, citrus. And my bottle is plastic. <laughs> All right. Yes, ma'am, five drops of each. Oh, five in there, yes. We're multitasking now. <laughs> okay. The rest of the, when we're talking about the sense of smell, it represents a complex area with 34 structures and 53 pathways that turn stimulated psychological responses within the brain body via the nervous system, the endocrine system, the immune system, affecting sensations of pleasure, pain, centers of the brain, emotionals, memory, sleep, appetite, and sex. So our sense of smell is a humdinger. And we have oils to fit all of those categories. And if you started in February, you'd have to hear of a few other ones that we have that goes with this. <laughs> we go back and look at some of my classes. We 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 talked about several of those. And they were. Miss <laughs> Jean was here, she knows. <laughs> do have this in February we did a um, love your oils class and one of the things we made was a lavender linen spray now this is to help induce sleep lavender is a relaxing oil you can put it on some Epsom salts and put it in your shower or put it in your bath but you're welcome oh, I shook it up too much you're welcome I'm gonna let y'all pass this this is again water and witch hazel and because of the size of the bottle, this is about a four ounce bottle, so I would go one third witch hazel, fill it up the rest of the way with water, and then for this bottle, I probably wouldn't put over five or six drops of lavender in it. And I spray my pillow. This came off my bedside table. So I spray my pillow with, with this at night. And this helps with relaxation. And again, it's the sense of smell. We can do the same thing by rubbing some lavender on the bottom of your feet, but that's not aromatherapy. That's topical. So this is a way to get the lavender into your system through the offertory. Does it help with energy? We have an oil for that. <laughs> that energy? Mm-hmm. 
I can already tell yeah. Well, you, yeah, well you yeah you want it in strong enough to stay but you don't want it all the way in because you might want to change it later. Well I'm sure we could take a knife and pop it out. But, yeah. Has everybody made one of these? Do we get across there? I'm sure you're doing a great job. <laughs> Well, now you've got your own personal blend of an inhaler. Methods of inhalation, personal and environmental fragrancing, steam inhalation, diffuser, aroma lamp, room sprays, tissue, we then talked about all this, potpourri pots, organic wax candles, they don't have the formaldehyde, and jewelry. Now, let's talk about how we're going to use this. I wear this necklace every day. It's probably almost black because I've worn it so much. And some of you have been around a while, y'all probably wear y'alls all the time too. I have LLP in this, Lemon Lavender Peppermint. I wear it all the time. And not having to put as many chemicals in my body. You ladies are going to have the new designer look of a Ooh. necklace. And you've got one of these in your box. Now, I'm going to pass this around. You get to choose. These are wool balls, little wool balls. And you'll choose which one you want. And you just, when you get your necklace, you'll just push it in the middle. Ta-da! And now you have your own little diffuser necklace. Kind of cool. So I'm gonna pass these around. And y'all get to pick your pick your wool. Other ways of use therapy with your box. No, I think it's me. <laughs> I have had <coughs> Ashley tried really hard to show me how to make clay jewelry. <clears throat> she's she's done a good job of trying to teach me. My time just doesn't allow it. So I actually took a porous clay and made some little balls you go, that I can put on a little cord and make. So you buy this cord and you make jewelry or you can buy, and again, this is the Amazon Queen commercial, <laughs> lava rocks, little lava rocks, or as long as it is a porous stone, these are different shades of jasper, you can make your own aromatherapy bracelets. Each of you in your box put back up are going to get a lava oh, rock bracelet and then I've got just a teeny little vial if you don't have any stress away this is going to be for your new <laughs> happy place <laughs> for my she needs They're one right here. here we need to pass the happy place around to the people that didn't get one Come into our happy place. We've got some others. Come into our happy place. To also give you an example, I had the opportunity, I was at playing. See, these are so these can be classified as diffuser necklaces. These are little porous clay. Yes. Now these are not porous. And it took me experimenting to know that the colored was not it's a more polished look. The oil won't suck into them. They have to be the porous. And so I also made some of these. These were made for our children's make and take. That's where I was thinking. Last year, where they got to choose. So, um, so I'll let you guys see those. Now, how... Sherry, did you get one? Yeah, you got one. Okay, yeah, Miss Jean, just leave it right there. All right. Thank you for collecting all that for me. Now, also, how can we use aromatherapy to help us in our environment? I had the opportunity, and Ashley's going to laugh when I tell this story. Mm -hmm. When we went to Mississippi, Few years ago she took her horse and the mosquitoes were so big they almost carried the horse away 
they are. They're huge out there, and they will bite. They, they're mean mosquitoes. And when Sugar came home, well, she had lost her tail, and I do believe because it was, she was aggravated more of the mosquitoes, but we can't prove that. The next year, I had the opportunity to go with Ashley, and I hung a pot, a porous pot, on a macrame string in that horse's stall, and everybody kept saying, what in the world? And she kept saying, that's just mama's voodoo, leave it alone. <laughs> <laughs> but we put an oil concoction in the pot. The pot absorbed it, so you didn't see water hanging in there. But because the pot had the oil on it, it kept the mosquitoes away. And we did not have that huge amount. And then she made some really bomb fly spray with essential oils. And so between those, we had a good, a better year. Each of you that have a box, we have a little porous pot. And y'all get to take that home. And I made you some dry insect bomb diffuser oil. And this is, I brought the ingredients out here because I'm going to show you. It's, when y'all, I say this is hard to make. No, it's not hard to make. It takes five seconds. Now, I made it for y'all because I wanted to have everything ready because of time. I like to encourage you to have your time. But it's three-fourths a cup of white vinegar. So I fill this up to the three-fourths mark. Then I stick it under the water stick it and fill it up to, from the one from the three-fourths to the one. So I've got three-fourths of white vinegar and one-fourth of water. I pour that in that bottle. And then the instructions say, I think it's five drops. Yeah, five drops of lemongrass and five drops of lavender. And you can do citronella instead of the lemon. Ten drops of oil in this whole bottle. That's not a lot. <laughs> then, for this size pot, you put this much in this little cup and pour it in your pot and let it absorb it. And that's what you use to get rid of your bugs. So that would work on a deck, too. Yes, ma'am. Citronella go in the plastic. Oh, it's not, not, it's not, it's not citrus, no ma'am. Now, that's one way of doing it. In your little packet, I've also got a list for you. Essential oils for pest control. So what do you want to control? And husbands don't count. How <laughs> about children? Children don't count. Um, will help deter ants. Uh, spearmint and thyme for beetles. Spearmint and peppermint for caterpillars. Lavender, lemongrass, sage, and thyme for chiggers. Peppermint, lemongrass, spearmint, lavender for fleas. You see? And it goes on and on. And you've got this in your little recipe book. So it'll tell you. So when you make your own, you can decide what oil you want to put in here in place of the lemongrass essential oil. Or the now, how do we know how many drops of what? It I mean, tells you I in here you five and five. Okay, you, you got this recipe from somewhere else. And I so, tried it. Okay, so what if you think, well, I want to try something, and you just how do you, how do you how do they know how many it takes? Sounds okay, like five is a good rule of thumb. What? Yeah. <laughs> this is where I experiment, and that's a good question, because when you first start out, I was very very careful in oils. With Ashley, less is not more. More is more. She loves it. She will sit there, oh, we need a few more drops in here. That's, That's not strong me. enough. Oh, we need a few more drops in there. That's not strong enough. I start out with a small amount and do a test and see if I get the results I want. And I do write this down. And when I do a test in my kitchen, I have the recipe written down and then you'll come back and some of you who've been in here in my test kitchen will scratch this out and add some more. We'll scratch this out and take some away because after you test it, it may not have the results. So that's where I like this science experiment part, y'all. That's why people say I love this is because I, I do it as a science experiment. So five is a really good number that I have found works. A bottle 
this size. This is an eight ounce. And so a cup, see eight ounces is a cup, and about five drops of each. And see, that's that's to me a good rule, rule of thumb. Now, when I'm doing a big, when we were doing the spray bottles with the um, fly spray, I mean, we had what, 32 ounce bottles, Ashley? Those big bottles? Mm -hmm. And we were putting 10 drops of four different oils. So we were putting 40 drops of oil in that big thing, and then she'd go, oh, let's try another, you know. <laughs> but that was, you know, 40 drops, that's four times this much. Mm -hmm. So approximate. But just realize there's no right and wrong. It's just finding out what works best for you. And I always start out small and work my way up because I can always add more. I can't take it away once it gets in here. And I can always make it stronger. <clears throat> Here's another one of my cute little things that we did. And I had not put the, this is your wick, and it's a cotton rope. And I've got a double cap on these so that they won't spill going home. But you take your bottom cap off and put your wick in there. And this is water, and you can use olive oil or, um, I, or lamp oil, and then you put your oils, your essential oils in there, and I think I've got lavender and peppermint or, or centronella or lemongrass in here. And this also is a bug repellent. Oh. And you make it a little lantern. It's a little lantern. Like lantern. lantern. You just light the end of your wick. And those of you who remember the old timey lanterns, you have to make sure you get it right on the top or you're going to have a smoking good time. Because <laughs> you know, the taller the wick, the dark, the blacker it runs. So you just adjust it in your fluid and it will burn just like one of these lanterns that you see. And you've got essential oils and water. And I'll do that in my lamp. Can, can, can you I, see why not? I wouldn't see why not. Yeah. But I would put the water in, the, you can do the olive oil or um, a carrier oil. Olive oil is going to burn blacker than almond or some of the other whiter oils. Or you can dilute the, the lamp oil. You know, lamp oil is expensive when you start buying that centronella lamp oil. You can put it half water and half oil and then put your essential, your essential oils in there to help with it. Because some, not all lamp oil is centronella based or for bug repellent. Because I bought the indoor light oil and then I put my own essential oils in there. <coughs> so I made it an outside lamp because the inside lamp oil is cheaper. But y'all get to take that home too. Now we've talked about different ways of using essential oils. I put this on as my last one and I know y'all can't see it because it's so small, but this is actually a poster in a hospital. And I put that on there because I was really excited to see that hospitals are now using aromatherapy as an option for after surgery for nausea control. And isn't that neat? <laughs> it says aromatherapy is the use of aromatic plant extracts and essential oils to promote whole body healing. In order to make your time with us more comfortable and to promise healing or promote healing, we would like to offer you an aromatherapy that may be attached to your gown or pillow. And all it is is they're, stick, they're putting the oils on a, on a pad that has a backing and they're having the smell. It says, if you are interested in this optional aromatherapy patch, ask your nurse. Lavender and a blend. Lavender promotes restfulness and calmness and it's lavender from France. Or the blend which is a fresh sense designed to clear grogginess and encourage deeper thinking, which is eucalyptus, lavender, sergo, I don't know that one, lemon, lemongrass, and frankincense. Kind of cool to clear your head. So I'm impressed that we're now having hospitals that are moving toward this as an option. <coughs> 